Hello children. I hope you have gone through my previous video on polynomials. Today, let's do some exercises together. I'm Priya Menon and this is the textbook exercises for class 9, chapter 2, polynomials. This session will provide you with some practical guidance and solutions. Further to my previous theory session, here is a visual representation for your better understanding. If 6x square minus 4x plus 1 is a polynomial, 6x square is one of the terms, minus 4x is another term, and 1 is another term. So the three terms of the given polynomial are 6x square minus 4x and 1. Now we'll see what are the coefficients. Coefficient of x square is 6 and coefficient of x is minus 4. And what is the degree of the given polynomial? As you know, the highest power of the variable is considered as the degree of the given polynomial. Here you can see 2 is the highest power of x, so 2 is the degree of the given polynomial. And what is the constant here? You can see 1 stands alone without any variable, so 1 is the constant here. Now, let's go through some exercises. First question is, write the degree terms and the constant of the given polynomial 32x cubed plus x minus 1. As you can see, 3 is the highest power of the variables. 3 is considered as the degree of the polynomial. The terms are 32x cubed, x and minus 1. And what is the constant here? Yes, minus 1 is the constant here. Now let's see how to classify polynomials. We need to check the degree of the polynomial before classifying them. Your first question is x square plus x. You can see 2 is the highest power of x here. So 2 is the degree of the polynomial. If 2 is the degree of the polynomial and the polynomial is called a quadratic polynomial. So x square plus x is a quadratic polynomial. Next question is x minus x cube. Here 3 is the highest power of the given variable x. So 3 is considered as the degree of the polynomial. If the polynomial is having degree 3, that polynomial is called cubic polynomial. So, x minus x cube is a cubic polynomial. Now, last question is 1 plus x. You can't see any power there. If nothing is written, we will put a 1. So, the highest power of x is 1. And if the degree of the polynomial is 1, that polynomial is called a linear polynomial. So, 1 plus x is a linear polynomial. Our next question is, find P0, P1 and P2 for the given polynomial. Py is equal to y square minus y plus 1. What you are supposed to do is, replace y by the given values. That means, P of 0 means, you will remove y and you will put 0 instead of that. You are replacing y by 0. So, P of 0 is equal to 0 square minus 0 plus 1. 0 and 0 will become 0 again. So the answer you get 1. P of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 plus 1. 1 square minus 1 is 1 minus 1. It will become 0. 0 plus 1 is again 1. And P of 2 is you are replacing y by 2. You are removing y and putting 2 instead of that. So you will get 2 square minus 2 plus 1. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So when you are asked to find a value like p of 1 or p of half or p of 5 or anything and the polynomial is given, you remove the variable and put the value there. That means you are replacing variable by the given value. Okay. The next question is verify whether x equal to minus 1 by 3 is the zero of the polynomial p of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Here what you have to do is you have to replace x by minus 1 by 3 and after the calculation if you are getting zero then you will say the given value is the zero of the polynomial. If you are not getting zero then you will say it is not the zero of the polynomial. The given value is not the zero of the polynomial. Here the given value is minus 1 by 3. So the polynomial is px is equal to 3x plus 1. So we are going to replace x by minus 1 by 3. p of minus 1 by 3 is equal to 3x will become 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1. 3 into minus 1 by 3, that 3 and 3 will get cancelled and the value will become minus 1. You can see minus 1 there and minus 1 plus 1 will become a 0. So the answer you got 0, so you can say 
x equal to minus 1 by 3 is the zero of the polynomial px is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, in another question, suppose you are not getting a zero, you are getting any other number, your conclusion will be that given number is not the zero of the polynomial. Okay? Hope you understood. Moving on to next example, find the zero of the polynomial px equal to x plus 5. To find the zero of a given polynomial, we have to equate the given polynomial to zero. So here, our polynomial is px is equal to x plus 5. So we have to solve px equal to 0. That means x plus 5 equal to 0, which implies x is equal to minus 5. You know, plus 5 will go to next side as minus 5. So you will get the value x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, minus 5 is a 0 of the polynomial x plus 5. Hope you understood. If a polynomial is given and if you have to find the 0 of the polynomial, first you have to equate the given polynomial to 0, then find the value of x. So what value you get, that will be the 0 of the polynomial. Moving on to next question. Find the remainder when x cubed plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 1. In remainder theorem, we have learned that if a polynomial is divided by x minus a, then p of a will be the remainder. Here, by remainder theorem, the required remainder is equal to p of minus 1. Why it is minus 1? Because we have x plus 1. If it was x minus 1, we will take p of 1. If it is x plus 1, we will take p of minus 1. So the sign will change. Now, p of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Therefore, p of minus 1 is equal to, we will replace x by minus 1. So, that becomes minus 1 cube plus 3 into minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 1. Which gives you minus 1 cube as minus 1. 3 into minus 1 square is 3. And 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 plus 1. That means minus 1 plus 3 minus 3 plus 1. 3 and minus 3 will get cancelled. Minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled and you will get the answer 0. Hence, required remainder is P of minus 1 equal to 0. We have covered few exercises now. I want you to do the rest of the questions from the textbook exercises. Moving on further, check whether 7 plus 3x is a factor of 3x cube plus 7x. You know by factor theorem, if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial, then p of a equal to 0. Here, 7 plus 3x is given. The coefficient of x is 3, but we need coefficient of x as 1. So what we have to do is, we have to divide 7 and 3x by 3, which gives you 7 by 3 plus x, which is same as x plus 7 by 3. Why we are making this is, we know only uh, if a polynomial is divided by x minus a, then the factor of the polynomial is p of a equal to 0. If the polynomial is divided by x plus a, and the factor is p of minus a equal to 0. So we have only x minus a and x plus a. Here we have to make it x plus something. So we divided it by 3 and we got it x plus 7 by 3. Now, x plus 7 by 3 will be a factor of px equal to 3x cubed plus 7x if p of minus 7 by 3 equal to 0. So we have to check whether p of minus 7 by 3 equal to 0 or what. What we have to do is, we have to substitute minus 7 by 3 in the polynomial. We will replace x by minus 7 by 3, which gives you 3 into minus 7 by 3 cube plus 7 into minus 7 by 3 which again gives you 3 into minus 343 by 27 minus 49 by 3 which is equal to minus 343 by 9 minus 49 by 3 which is very clear that it will not give you a 0. You don't have to calculate because 
uh, from this itself it's clear that it is the value of this Moving is on to not the next equal question. to 0 question 8 as the value Use is a factor not theorem we can to say that 7 with plus gx is a factor is not of px of in the following example 7x here two polynomials are given one is px equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 another one is gx which is x plus 2 we have to determine whether gx is a factor of px to prove gx is equal to x plus 2 is a factor of px equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 we need to show that p of minus 2 equal to 0 because in fact the theorem as we have discussed in the previous problem uh, due, uh, in fact the theorem it is given that if x minus a is a factor then p of a will be 0 if x plus a is a factor then p of minus a will be 0 here we are checking whether x plus 2 is a factor so p of minus 2 will be 0 now when we give minus 2 in place of x we get p of minus 2 equal to minus 2 cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to minus 2 cube is minus 8 plus 12 minus 6 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 which is not equal to 0 if the answer is not 0 then we say gx is not a factor of px if the answer is 0 we will say gx is a factor of px here the answer is minus 1 and it is not equal to 0 so we can say gx is not a factor of px now next question 9 is find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of px this is very important question in this they have asked you to find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of px px is given as x square plus x plus k if x minus 1 is a factor of px as per factor theorem p of 1 should be 0 so when we substitute 1 in place of x we get 1 square plus 1 plus k equal to 0 because the polynomial is x square plus x plus k here when we substitute the value we get 1 plus 1 plus k equal to 0 which is 2 plus k equal to 0 which gives you k is equal to minus 2 2 will go to other side of equal to sign with opposite sign so it will become minus 2 so the answer we got k is equal to minus 2 moving forward we will see how to factorize a given polynomial here in the 10th question you can see a polynomial 12x square minus 7x plus 1 we have to use the splitting the middle term method we know that in a polynomial a x square plus b x plus c p plus q is b and p into q is a into c so in the given polynomial 12 x square minus 7 x plus 1 when we apply the above we will get p plus q equal to minus 7 which is the coefficient of x and p into q equal to 12 into 1 which are the coefficient of x square and the constant and 12 into 1 is equal to 12 now we will see which two numbers when you add you get minus 7 and when you multiply you get 12 we'll check with multiplication first we will see which two numbers gives you 12 12 into 1 12 6 into 2 12 4 into 3 12 and you have to get the sum as 7 forget about the sign we'll just see 7 and 12 here we assume 4 and 3 4 into 3 is 12 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so we take 4 and 3 as factors now we will put the sign we should get 4 into 3 positive 12 4 plus 3 negative 7 then we will know minus 4 and minus 3 when you multiply you get positive 12 minus 4 plus minus 3 you get minus 7 so we will take the factors as minus 4 and minus 3 and we will split the middle term and write we'll rewrite the polynomial 12x square 
minus 7x plus 1 as 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1. That means minus 7x we split into 2, minus 4x and minus 3x. Now, when you take the common factors outside, when you take 4x from 12x square minus 4x, that means we are regrouping. When you do that, 4x will be outside and inside the bracket you get 3x minus 1. And in the say, next group, when the common factor minus 1 you take outside, inside you get 3x minus 1 again. So, the factors of 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1 are, we take in both brackets you can see 3x minus 1, so we will take once that, 3x minus 1. And the remaining 4x minus 1. So, the factors of 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1 are 12x square minus 7x plus 1 are 3x minus 1 and 4x minus 1. Children, I hope you enjoyed this short class. I would insist you to do the rest of the exercises from your textbook. Thank you and until next time, I am Priya Menon signing off.